we are testing out the Moyu portable washing machine. I got this from Emmett C or MacBit as people around here like to call it which is kind of like an Amazon scratch and dent and I got it for super cheap so it's fairly basic. First of all it's collapsible which I'll show you later but uh, just put clothes in can't fit too much maybe a pair of pants or a shirt mainly for like socks and underwear though things like that I wouldn't use too much heavy duty in there um, and you fill it up with uh, whatever water I use hot water but here's the trick I use a Tide Pod I dissolve a Tide Pod into a um, dissolve a Tide Pod into a glass bottle with some water shake it till it's completely dissolved and I use about a third of that a third of a Tide Pod for every load now the settings see down here wash rinse spin when I use wash I do it uh, two times to make sure it's clean okay I've already done it once I don't know if you notice I'm doing it right in my sink because this thing needs to drain anyway so it's easiest just to do it right there plus it fits neatly into the sink there's little suction cups on the bottom to hold it steady I've already done it once like I said and there we go the wash cycle is like six minutes there we go it does vibrate a heck of a lot so especially for the rinse and spin cycles you're going to want to put some type of a weight on top of that to keep it from jostling about all right we'll come back to that in a sec four holes up top you can use those to um empty out the water and i'll show you kind of like uh draining spaghetti like so if you want you can actually just literally turn the thing over but i have a special way of doing it i actually take the lid holding it off hold my hand and push and I make sure to push up to get some of the excess water out okay try to get as much detergent on as possible Now you can see why it's uh, easiest just to keep it in the sink. Now I, I do something special with the, uh, the rinse cycle also. Okay, now we're going for the rinse cycle. The other way of draining the water besides these holes up here is there's a little clip down here and I'll show you real quick. If you pull the clip, it drains out the bottom, okay? Which is another reason why having it in the sink is very preferred. Now, it drains really slowly that way, but in this case, that's to our benefit. Because what I do for the rinse cycle, I do a double rinse cycle, I keep the clip open so it continuously drains. But I have a steady stream of water coming through at the same time that way it's getting all the okay, detergent out of there but it still has the water to keep going so set it to there we go and the rinse cycle is 10 minutes I usually do one and a half we'll say one and a half rinse cycles. You can see it moving around in there. Okay, while it's going, it comes with a little basket to help it spin dry. It doesn't work very well. It 
jostles itself out of place often. I actually have to put a weight inside to keep it even down. I'll show you guys that in a second, but um, does not work very good. You can try it, also doesn't hold many, very many clothes. I have an ultimate solution though. The way I found to dry mine is actually this guy right here. I got it for like five bucks down at Dollar General. Uh, hang all your stuff on there and I just put mine uh, straight in the shower. Bam, hang it, you know, make sure it's out of the range of the shower head, but it'll just sit there and dry, drip dry overnight. Yeah, it's getting near the end of the first rinse cycle. And as you can see, even though it's draining out the bottom, the water is keeping it steady. So that's about the amount that it drains from the bottom. You know, that's amount the amount of drainage is this stream here, just to let to let you know. So oh, there it goes. That's what it sounds like when it warns you that it's off. Also, if water gets on the power cord, it will shut itself off. It does for me at least. So, like I said, we're going to put on another rinse. I'm going to let this go. Okay, you will be able to tell that most of the detergent is out of the clothes when the water no longer has that brownish, grayish, cloudy hue to it. Okay, see how it's clear? Most of the way clear at least. That means that all that detergent is pretty much out. So... Um, I've, it's been like a minute or so since the rinse cycle was done. I'm not going to put it through a third one. It doesn't need it. So on to the spin cycle or the dry cycle, although it's not really drying, honestly. Really quickly, why I have this empty? This is the bottom. So these little suction cups I was telling you about, this is the, uh, when you have that little clip open, this is the drain. And I mean, you could reposition however you want. I just chose to keep it as it was. But as you can see, it's fairly small, so it drains really slowly. So optimally, you don't want to use that unless you're using it with the, the rinse cycle like I was showing you. But you're going to want to get as much water out of your clothes as possible before you start the uh, spin cycle. So, you know, like wring them dry as much as possible. Now, your little basket thing, that's the weight that I was telling you about. I think it's like two and a half pounds or so. Okay, and we're just going to try to fit as many clothes as will fit in here. And it's, believe me, it's not very many. It does help, honestly. I've, I've tested it. It helps a little bit, but certainly does not help very much. Also, during this cycle, you're going to want to keep this clip open because the water that's flying off of these, it has to go somewhere. It can't just pull down at the bottom. So... And out of all the cycles, this one is probably the uh, the uh, most active. It, it jostles around a lot. So you're going to want to put something to keep this steady up top. A weight or a big pan or a, uh, I wouldn't use a plate or anything breakable because it's thrown things off before. Okay, for the spin cycle, if you don't have a weight on top of this thing, you're seeing... Exactly what happens. So to prevent that from happening, I keep a weight, like I said, like two and a half pound weight inside here at the very bottom. And then you gotta keep a weight on top. I know it sounds silly, but it works. That should keep it steady enough so that the basket inside doesn't rock itself out of position and it should keep all the clothes that it can fit inside of the basket in there. Finally, when you're done, it collapses down neatly to about, I don't know, two inches or so. Stick the lid on top and me personally, I keep it right underneath my shoes.